Hello everybody, CEO Matthew 6 here, and today I was going to give you a video about spy crabbing. However, I am a little under the weather right now. I've got a bunch of congestion going on, and I've got a bit of a headache. Um, I also have a pretty bad cough, so whenever I talk for a long period of time without drinking any water, I start coughing uncontrollably, and I think I'm going to get some water right now, actually. So instead of me doing this commentary, I'm having my sister do it. I hope you enjoy her commentary. And I'm going to stop talking now, so enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Jay, and today I will be talking to you about spy crabbing. Um, CEO Matthew Six is my brother, and right now he's being a lazy butt. I'm sick. So I'm making this video for him. Um, so what is a spy crab? Well, a spy crab is a taunt that has a 1 6 chance of occurring when the spy taunts with his disguise kit app. Um, basically, you just hit 4 and then you left click, uh, but you don't choose a class. Um, so why am I talking about this? Why is CEO Matthew 6 um, uploading a video about this? Um, well, just in case you didn't already know, uh, spy crabbing is a way of potentially doubling your income. Um, it is usually a safer option compared to unboxing. Say you have 25 keys you want to spend. You can go through 25 crates and unbox each of them and pray that perhaps you'll get a few unusuals along the way. Or you could spy crab and use your keys as tokens in um, the gamble against other unusuals. Sorry about that. Um... I know I said I wasn't going to interrupt this video, but I just wanted to clear something up uh, with this statement. Keys aren't used as tokens, per se. They're just there to put up an equal wager against uh, your opponent. So say you wanted to spy crab one butt against one butt. You don't actually need to spy crab unusuals. Um, you could pretty much say, yeah, I'll put up 27 or X amount of keys against your bud, and then let's spy crab. You don't also have to spy crab just keys. You can spy crab buds, unusuals versus unusuals, um, craft hats versus craft hats, uh, weapons versus weapons, or you could just spy crab for fun, and there's nothing wrong with that. So this is just a specific term. There are also more general terms for spy crabbing and wagers. Uh, just to clear that up, I'll let her get back to the video. Um... The first option with unboxing gives you about a 22% chance, while the second option with spy crabbing gives you 50%. Now that sounds great, right? But there is a huge downside, and that is you could potentially lose months worth of profit in a matter of minutes. Um, it does turn a lot of people off. It turns CO Matthew 6 off. Um, but there are people who still do it. Uh, they generally are people who have a lot of extra profit to burn. Uh, they aren't worried if they lose a few here or there. Um, and there are people who want to test their luck and see if they can make this gamble and win. Um, so if you're feeling lucky, here's how the spy crab actually works. <laughs> uh, first, you find someone to spy crab against. Um, this is more easily done on unusual servers. Once you find someone to spy crab against, uh, you find an admin and you ask the admin to be your middleman and trade the items that you and the other person will be betting in this spy crab match. Um, you want the middleman as a sort of security because what might happen is if the other person loses, he'll be like, I was just kidding, I'm not going to give you the stuff and then log off or something. Um, once both you and the other person have traded your items to the admin, the three of you should find a quiet place on the server so other TF2 players aren't running around blocking your view. Um, if there's a skybox in the server, that is usually a great place to spy crab. Uh, now that all your, your preparation is done, it's time to spy crab. Uh, so take your disguise kit out, uh, no jumping, crouching, changing weapons, moving around, or other types of taunting. So you spam that G button like there is no tomorrow. And the admin with your items will also be sort of a referee and keep track of the number of times each person crabs because what could potentially happen without this referee is that you and the other person might get into an argument. Oh, you crabbed three times. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. Whatever. 
Um, once one of you crabs three times, uh, that person loses, and loser loses everything, and winner takes everything. Uh, now it is common courtesy for the winner to tip your middleman, but the loser does not because that would kind of be insult to injury. Um, now, if you're making the assumption that you will win every other time or half the time that you spy crab, uh, you can bank on this to make a lot of profit. But you have to understand that there is a chance that you'll lose and that winning is not guaranteed for you. Um, but if you think you can beat the odds, go ahead and have some fun with it. Um, so if you think this video is informative or helpful, please feel free to leave a nice comment or like this video and subscribe uh, subscribe for future trading videos. Um, CEO Matthew Six is still my brother. And as a sister, I do want him to be happy, and he is very happy when everyone likes his videos, subscribes, and comments nicely. So please do that. What she said. And I guess that's it for today. Um, thank you. Matt, I hate you so much. If you cut this part out, I won't blame you. I was going to leave that part out but I'm way too lazy to do that.